What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here and what I got for your face balls today We've got an awesome unboxing to do. We got a big ass box from Spyderco uh, Plus a couple other little things First and foremost, I got to tell you man my work is so insanely busy I don't know how many uh, hundreds of hours that I spent on the phone this week, but it has been crazy. I, uh, yeah, I finally just threw in the towel for the week. It is, oh, about 4.40 or so on a Friday afternoon, um, and I've had it. I was up till almost 10 o'clock last night with uh, customers on the phone trying to put out fires and man, I'm telling you, it has just been crazy. So really looking forward to having a few days off um, and shut my phone off and just, man, unreal. So uh, first up, we got this little box here and then we've got this little box right here. And then, well, the big box from Spider Co. isn't even going to fit up here, so I'm not even going to put it up here. But let's get into these real quick. So I actually know what both of these are. Uh, I'm going to use my TRM Shadow uh, to open these packages up. And, oh, I forgot to turn this light on. Yes, I did. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I know that I've been kind of MIA this week. Um, I've got multiple videos filmed, but I haven't had a chance to actually uh, do anything with them. So I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, but hopefully I'll get a chance this weekend to get a bunch of stuff uh, filmed. and Or, I'm sorry, um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Good God, my brain is just overloaded here. Um, edited and that kind of a thing. I don't do a ton of editing, as you guys know. Uh, but anyway, this package here, uh, DTOM Knives and Gear. Uh, and then we got a little On the Edge co or, uh, coaster right there. So this is from Kyle over at DTOM. Super cool guy. And he sent a few things. Um, actually, let's we'll talk about this one first because I'm pretty confident I know exactly what this is. Boom. <laughs> so he sent uh, his Sheepdog XL. So if you guys saw the video, um, he uh, uh, I sent him over a, a custom Sheepdog XL that um, uh, Kevin over at Lefty EDC uh, wanted to, to do a custom Sheepdog XL for Kyle. And so I uh, donated my time, uh, really, uh, for the cause and did all the, the work on it uh, and sent it over to Kyle. He was super pumped on it, which was awesome. Uh, and so he sent, this was the, the original Sheepdog that he had. He sent this over. Uh and I think, I'm going to have to verify with him, but I think he sent that over for me to just have, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, okay. And then we've got a PM2 here that is horribly off-center. That's one item. So this one is just an S30V. Oh, this is a, a lefty uh, PM2. So this is from Blades We Love, I'm pretty sure, um, with the button. And so this is actually a lefty PM2 with a button put in there. Uh, so it's kind of like a smock-esque uh, situation. And here you go. Here is the custom sheepdog that I did right here for Kyle. So you can see all the changes that were made to it. Uh, stone washed uh, or acid wash blade liners and clip, uh, bronzed hardware, um, Flipper delete, put a hole in it. Uh, uh, this is micarta, uh, and then I, I dyed the micarta red, so we got kind of a, a red and gold or bronze um, and blue pivot collar. So cool knife, but I'm going to tune this thing up a little bit. He wants the detent to be a little bit lighter, uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to uh, fix his PM2 here as well. So anyway, we've got those things going on. So let's just set these off to the side for right now. Uh, this sheepdog also has uh, 
a re reground blade. So instead of, you know, about 30 thousandths behind the edge, it's 10 thousandths. So that's very cool. I'll set these right up over here. Okay, now, this package right here. Let's just get up in here. And try not to cut what's inside there. Yeah. Okay. That's what we got right there. A few packing peanuts in there as well. So this package was sent to me by uh, Zach over at Zach Stuff, who, shout out to Zach. Hopefully he's having a good time at Blade Show this weekend. All right, here it is. Got any guesses on what this is? We got ProTech and Drop. Most of you probably already know what this is. Uh, we got a little uh, Zach Stuff right there and the hashtag DSKFS. And here we go. There's the knife. Boom. This is the Protec Mordax. Um, and this one is the uh, machined handle, uh, which is really cool. And I've got some plans for this knife right here. Uh, so Zach had a knife sale the other day, raising a little bit of money before he went to Blade Show. And this Mordax was on that knife sale. And so I told him, yeah, I'll take that one. And I've got a plan for this. So hopefully you guys are going to dig that. You'll see more of this to come. So this was a used knife. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, getting it from the old uh, Zacky Poo there. Excellent. So that's what we got so far. All right, next up. We got this big box right here. It's a big box. I'm just going to open it up off to the side. We'll just take everything out. I have not looked at the email to see what all is in this yet. So this should be fun. Uh, holy cow. All right. There's a bunch of stuff in this box. There's one, two... Three, four, five, six, plus some, plus some uh, paperwork and a bill, and uh, yeah, I so. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six different cards here. So these are the Collector Club cards. And for those that don't know, um, I get all of my Spider Co. So I'm in the Spider Co. Collector Club. They all come from Omaha Knife. Uh, if you haven't uh, ever checked out their website and stuff, please go and do so. They have some amazing stuff. Uh, really, really awesome people over there. Go check them out. And uh, yeah, just super cool folks. And I am confident that you'll be happy. So, all right, we're gonna open them up. I haven't even looked. I've just looked at the color of the stickers. So there you go. You can see we got four white ones, two yellow ones. Uh, for those that don't know, the yellows are going to either be serrated or partially serrated. So just for that reason, I'm going to open them first. So first up here, this is the Spyderco Resilience. Uh, this is one of the newer models. This is the Resilience Lightweight. Uh, you can see here partially serrated blade. This one is going to be, yeah, 8CR13MOV. Um, pretty comfortable knife though, pretty good size. Well, it's three and three quarter inch blade, something like that. Uh, but this is definitely a, a, you know, a budget option, but murdered out Resilience. Now, we're going to check the factory edges here, so I'm going to leave that out, and we're going to just go down the list here. Next up, another Resilience. This one, black FRN, again, 8CR, partially serrated, so same exact knife, 
Uh, we just got one in a black coated blade and one in a full satin blade. Uh, this thing's got a hell of a big blade on it though. That's for that's for sure. So pretty cool knife there. Uh, okay. So on. Let's see what these four are. All right. Let's do this. Uh, next up, another resilience. This one's going to be a plain edge. Uh, so, okay. I'm guessing we're going to get uh, the same black and satin here. So, want, want, want. These are not the most fun uh, when you're talking collector club. I mean, they're, it's a fine knife, uh, but, you know, just you have to get. Uh, get all the ones you don't want to get the ones you do. You know what I mean? Um, so there you go. We got Spider Co. Resilience coming out the wazoo. Got four of them now. All right. Here's the main event. These two. First up. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you guys know what it is? Looking at it through the bubblies. All right. Here we go. Boom. Oh, if you want to pause right there, I'll hold that for a couple of seconds. There you go. This is a, I don't know if it's an Indela, Endura. It's an Indela. So this is the mid-sized uh, in CPM 20 CV, black and red Zome uh, DLT exclusive. So a little bit bigger than a Delica, not quite as big as the Endura. This is the Indela. Uh, very cool knife. I dig the black and red Zome. Really cool. 20 CV is awesome. Um, and I'm just going out on a limb, and I'm going to say that this uh, 20 CV from Seiki City is going to be sharp. Right out of the box. That Seiki City factory over there, they generally do not mess around. All right, next up. Here we go. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let me get this out. Of course, we got the card here telling us, hey, this thing could rust. Boom. Here it is. Check it out right there. This is a dealer exclusive for GP Knives. If you want to read about it right there, check it out. Okay. And here it is. We've got white. Para 3 Lightweight, CPM Rex 45. Awesome, awesome combination here. The white just, uh, you know, opens up the door for so many possibilities. I really hope that they do a whole bunch of variations of this. Uh, Rex 45 and white is awesome. I love it. So that one is super cool. Definitely digging that for sure. Okay. Real quick... Let's just, I'm just going to move, move a few of these things out of the way. Let's see what we got here. I do have a little bitty tape measure here. I'm just kind of curious as to what the uh, blade length is on the old Resilience real quick. Oh, wow. No, it's over four. Four and a quarter inches. Look at that. Bam. Uh, yeah, and the cutting edge. Holy crap. It's actually almost... It's like four and three eighths, guys, the cutting edge on this thing. If you measure it on the curve, it's probably four and a half inches. That thing is a beast. Yeah, wow. It's And it's fairly lightweight, too. That's crazy. Like, I, I thought that the blade looked really big, but then I was thinking, well, it's pretty light, so I don't know that it's actually over four. But real quick, let's just uh, let's get a weight on this thing. We'll grab, what's this, the black plane? Yeah, let's do the black plane edge. 4.495 ounces. That's that's not bad. So literally, we've got four and a quarter inch blade, 4.4 and a half ounces. Um, man, that thing's a freaking, that's a pig sticker right there. Yes, sir. Big old boy. Yeah, and it's packaged well. The handle doesn't seem overly crazy for, you know, you see how far out the pivot is to the end right there. Like, this thing's extremely well packaged. You know, you look at this thing 
over four inch blade. And just to give you an idea, I mean, the Sheepdog's packaged really well also. Um, so, but it's got, you know, Sheepdog has a four inch blade. But the Sheepdog, yes, sheep, Sheepdog definitely has more handle. So, just uh, on the resilience, we got like right at five and a quarter inches. Yeah, and we got about five and three eighths. So, eighth inch more handle. Uh, and is the Sheepdog actually a true four inch blade? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. So. But look, the PM2, yeah, not much difference there on the PM2, but look at the, uh, the difference in with the blade out. Big, big difference here. But the handle, the difference in handle length is not much at all, really. Um, you know what, maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe not even. You got, what do we got there? Four and three quarter and five and a quarter so half inch half inch difference in overall blade length and you but but <laughs> in overall length so half inch difference in the handle length and you're eight and a quarter inches overall on the pm2 and you're nine and three eighths on the resilience so big difference there right on okay Enough talking about that. Let's get in. Let's see if these things actually have decent edges on them. Or, you know, let's just see what the what is here. All right. Trying to get through this pretty quickly. I happen to know that Molly is on her way home shortly. And as soon as she pulls in the driveway, the dogs are going to just absolutely lose their minds. So let's see what we're working with here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and start blowing through these real quick. So, 8CR13 MOV on this hoss. Here we go. One ninety on the black plain edge. One nine zero. Tear that out. We'll do the black serrated. We're gonna go in that very first serration right there, the big, the big hump. See if uh, the Chinese factory knocks it out of the park here on the serration. One twenty-five, decent, but not uh, not what we've seen out of Golden and out of Seiki City on the serration. That's for sure. Because, man, some of these serrated uh, spider coasts have just been vicious. I mean, we've seen them down, I think, you know, down and around, uh, and a few of them have been like 70 or below. Which is absolutely crazy. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I just broke that. Broke it, just tightening it up. All right, there we go. I don't have my wife here to load these for me, so I have to do them one at a time. All right, tear that out. Here we go, resilience, plain edge, non-coated blade. Here we go, here we go. 150, 150, not a bad result there. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> So I had a guy ask me uh, why I checked the, the edges. Uh, and uh, Well, I've had a couple of people ask that. And more than anything, it's just for fun. You know, that's just, we're just having a good time here. That's what all of this is about, is it not? Um, I feel like some people just take things too seriously. I mean, you know, I'm a serious guy and I enjoy, you know, I like, I like to, dive into the details and whatnot and nerd out on stuff but we're just having fun all right plain uh satin blade uh partially serrated same deal first big serration here we go 
105. 105. Okay. <clears throat> so I've actually got, I think I've got like eight video, eight or nine, maybe even 10 videos recorded. I just have to find the time to actually get them put up. And when I tell you guys that I've been swamped this week, man, I just, I was out of town all week last week and I, I don't, I still don't know that I'm caught up. Um, uh, it's just been absolute craziness. Uh, so here we go. Seiki city, Japan, 20 CV. Now Japan recently has been knocking it out of the park with their factory edges, but let's see, here we go. Oh, <laughs> 60 six zero i could tell as soon as that one touched the filament that it was going to be a good one so yeah that is no joke right there a 60 holy shit old Seiki city been coming in hot on those edges that is no joke out of the box so like once you start getting sub 75 underneath 75 like for me like that's where i start like really getting serious about sharpening so let's see if golden can hang here uh, this is the rex 45 from golden colorado let's see what they've uh, got going on here we go oh 65 holy shit spider co wow no joke i'm telling you let's see all right we're just gonna test uh, here here's what we're gonna do one i want to check out this pro tech and just to see because the knife itself well, i mean it looks brand new but i'm going to assume that zach carried it at some point sorry i have to use my teeth to tighten these things up because the stuff's so small i've got to yeah bite it to get it to tighten up but anyway we're gonna check this blade out real quick i'm gonna say it looks pretty factory i'm gonna guess he hasn't sharpened it but i'm also gonna guess that he wasn't it didn't carry it much so we'll see we'll see what it's got on it for an edge <clears throat> all right here we go here we go One seventy five, one seven five on the Mordex, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check and see what the edge is like on this Sheepdog, the one that I modded up uh, for Kyle, because I know when I sent it to him, uh, I'm wanting to say that it was around that sixty range, fifty or sixty. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was definitely well under a hundred. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how much he's used it. And, oh yeah. Definitely he's used it some. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So let's see what we got going here. We're just going to pick a spot and roll with it. Oh, 45, 45, holy cow, he, apparently he didn't use it much in that spot. Okay, hey, right on, well, so there you go, um, there's the old uh, uh, custom sheepdog, so if you guys are interested in these knives, um, I got several more of these into uh, mod, and you'll see them coming up on the website here pretty soon. Here's one of them right here. This one hasn't been started on yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna mod some more up. I'm gonna and I'm gonna make every single one just a little bit different, uh, do some different things to each of them, uh, you know, just so they're unique. and and for people that purchase them, you know, they'll have something that for each one is just a little bit different.
Uh, anyway, I think I just dropped all those on the floor. Perfect. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side. There you go. So we've got four, uh, what do you call these? Resiliences, uh, resilii. Uh, I'm not really sure what the plural is for resilience, uh, but we also got a lightweight, a lot of FRN, lots of FRN here. Um, but they're pretty cool. Like I said, I mean, that's a big old beast of a blade right there. And then we also got the old uh, Mordax, which is pretty cool. And then we got uh, some other stuff in just for some work and what have you. Um, definitely got some really cool stuff coming up, though. Uh, when, like I said, I got a whole bunch of videos filmed. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy those. I got stuff from Benchmade, stuff from Hinderer, stuff from... Uh, um, uh, Vero Engineering got stuff from, uh, oh, good Lord. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even remember it all now, but uh, you guys are going to see a lot of stuff coming up because I'm going to sit down and bang out and finish up a whole bunch of these, get a little bit of editing done that I do so I can get these things posted up and scheduled because I'm getting way behind on stuff and things are just getting out of hand. So uh, go check out the website. Email me if you have any questions. You know, go pick up a CME or you know, whatever. We've got all kinds of stuff on the website, so go check that out. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time. I'm gone.